I, I, as long as we don't have regime change, uh, and as long as like we, uh, there's, you know, some like sort of clear eyed notion of like how much, um, uh, territory Ukraine can get back. I don't know that we're going to go to pre 2014, uh, um, uh, borders. Um, but at the same time also you can't, you know, I wouldn't want the, I, look, I was against the Iraq war. I'm against, uh, uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Same, uh, same arguments. Like I'm not, I'm not convinced that there was a imminent threat to uh, Russia from Ukraine uh, that that brought about their uh, their attacks on, on, on. Are you in favor of the amount of support we're giving Ukraine right now? You know, I'm of two minds of it. I mean, uh, you know, I think like obviously we need to provide them uh, some support, but I, I do worry about how deep our engagement gets. Yeah. I, I think that like if you're Putin, you're waiting to see if Donald Trump becomes president. Because um, if Donald Trump becomes president, then you're quite confident that all the funding is going to dry up and you stay into that war. The dilemma that the Biden administration has, they have to show like overwhelming commitment that would like surpass, that would go beyond uh, even if Donald Trump becomes president. Um, and, and so why do you some, think the Biden administration? Sam, has- some may say uh, if if Putin is waiting for Trump to become president because the funding would dry up for Ukraine and get weaker, why didn't he attack Ukraine under Trump? Because he would have never supported Ukraine. He thought that he could get Ukraine without having to be military and go in militarily. Do you think? Uh, I think he thought that Trump was going to deliver him Ukraine. I'm not convinced that. I mean, you had Manafort on, didn't you, or something like that? Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did have. You, he would have been a good guy to ask yeah. why, uh, yeah. why why Putin yeah. thought that. Maybe a very interesting guy to have on. Well, he, I, I would imagine. Yeah. He's a, very he's, a, he's, he's very smart, but but, uh, Pat, but from all that that's going on, from all that that hooking up with you know she and Putin just was it yesterday right after this meeting or was it before was threatening? He's like if the if the West sends tanks or any depleted uranium or anything to to help uh, Ukraine fight that war, he's like nuclear components and attack. Well, like now this guy's threatening like. Well, he's, he, he threatened that, you know, early on, yeah. too. I yeah. mean, the problem with backing down from a nuclear threat is that it becomes all of a sudden like licensed to do yeah. whatever you want oh, if you 100%. have nukes. I yeah. mean, mm-hmm. um, it's 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 a dilemma. I don't think the Biden administration wanted this by any stretch of the imagination. I, and in fact, the reporting didn't want it. No, did not. I think the reporting actually was that the Biden administration was convinced that Putin would take over Ukraine within a matter of days mm-hmm. and with a week. And then the problem that or the dilemma they had or, you know, for many in the in national security state, I think they saw it as an opportunity, was that Putin was not doing well yeah. and that uh, Russia was a bit of a paper tiger. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, it gave mm-hmm. it opened the door of an opportunity for all these war hawks and these people who want to make a ton of money by selling and manufacturing weapons. Yeah. You know what I wonder? I wonder. I'm sorry. Let me just say this. No, I'll God, yeah, it I, I wonder if you know how you feel about Iraq, not just you. A lot of people on both sides feel about Iraq and how it was a waste of a war. And then the way we got out of it and it cost us another 83 billion dollars. We can go and, and talk from many different angles. I wonder what people will say about our, um, our level of support to Ukraine 10, 20 years from now. I am so curious. I'm so curious if it's going to be another one of those we should have never gone in or it's going to be we should have gone in more or if Trump was president, this would have never happened or the motives, the intentions, the reasoning. Uh, uh, I don't think 100% we're going to know what's really going on there for a minute. Yeah, 